Ik zit hier bij Myonix met Calm en dit is een nieuw Game Gear bedrijf. En wij zijn natuurlijk benieuwd wat houdt Myonix in en wat doen ze eigenlijk en wat is er zo uniek aan hun. Zo, so, hello Carl. Can you tell me yeah, what Myonix is all about? Myonix is a hardware company, basically. We, we produce some beautiful hardware uh, and that specifically for gamers. And you know, we, have full, we, we produce like mouse, keyboards, uh, headsets. Myonix is all about it's like craftsmanship. And craftsmanship is like This is things that our experience and how we do things, what goes into our product. That is Myonix in a nutshell. So uh, your unique selling point is listening to uh, your fan base. How do you uh, want to like improve uh, your market? How do you want to uh, win them? I would say firstly, I would say that this market has over a long time been all about let's put lipstick on the pig. Like they ship products like oh we we added a cup a color. To the product. This is 2014 years color. That is not what this is all about. What we're doing. Myonix is all about, you know, enabling the gamer to game. There's no room for 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 a game gear that doesn't for for equipment that doesn't work. It needs to be handcrafted. It needs to be crafted beautifully. That's the starting point. But secondly, what sets us apart is is I think that th this industry should be software eats hardware. And let me explain what I mean by that. Is that this what we see today is that a lot of hardware out there, and what we what we, we think is that uh, the industry to be a differentiator and bring a super quality thing, you need to buy some beautiful hardware, uh, software. Sorry. And let me take an example. You know Tesla. You buy a car Tesla. It's a beautiful piece of hardware. It's an Italian piece of hardware. I can in six months download software that can. That can differentiate my car so the software actually gives me quality edge of the hardware and I think that goes for my own is what we do here as well so uh, you're trying to say that the, the software you're going to make for the mouse is like the the most important selling point it's gonna make the mouse even better than the mouse without the software the, the software is coming it's down the road what we're doing in the roadmap but I think that is the differentiate you're gonna see going forward but today we are happy to produce some of the beautiful hardware we're doing Uh, but, but, but it all comes down to that, you know, let's not fool who the people are. The markets are transparent, you know, even my 10 year old daughter goes online, checks the reviews, re listen to, to you guys, hear what you got to say about it, and you know, decides opinion based on, you know, how great the quality of that product is. Yeah, you told me uh, you, you take a lot of time to design uh, your hardware and your gear, uh, and, and, and you also use your own, uh, you do everything in your own company. Yeah. But doesn't that make it a very pricey uh, piece of equipment, or yeah. how do your fans or new people react to that uh, yeah, fact? Yeah, pricey, but, but somebody somebody's buying our hardware, it spends tons of times with it. So we're happy to deliver to them a sense of quality. But if, You know, to to do hardware first was super hard. You know, if you want to get it right, if you want to ODM it from China, that's fine. That's something different. I'm talking about a beautiful piece of hardware, a beautiful mouse, a beautiful set of handset that actually is done for gamers who loves to game. Uh, not some hyped up things, not some lipstick on the pig kind of thing that where you hype up something. I'm talking about some true things. That takes time. Yes, it does. But to get that shape right, we spend thousands of times. We, you know, we throw away tons of these um, things that we print out and try to get improve it, shape it, and try to get that soul into it. Try to get it right. That's that's what it's all about. Yes, it takes time, uh, but you know, we, we want to really be that company that do that, bring forward all that R and D until we have. It. So people really accept the the time that's being put in uh, in the mouse uh, for the price that it pay for them. If we will build a mouse based on boxes, tick boxes and features, like you see some other people like ah, we're gonna have a pink mouse or it's gonna sell for that category, that would be a totally different company. But if you build something that you think that will last, that people come in and have the touch and feel of saying wow, that's a beautiful feel, that's a beautiful touch with it, that's something different. And then what we put into it, you can trust that we will put the best components in there. Why, why else would we do it? You can trust that we were all about, you know, how you feel and, and it works. The inside is as important as the outside. Uh, I mean, it's a craftsmanship kind of thing. 
uh, you instantly showed me your new prototype, yeah. and the first feeling I get, it's really nice. Uh, yeah, respect to that. But um, my question is, do you show it like this in this state to get our opinions, your fans' opinions, to really be sure it's like perfect? We tested it. Uh, so we're doing. We're working with SK Gaming, who uh, they tested it for a long time. Tested the shapes, the different shapes models. We tested it with over 100 people to try it out, different shapes. And we came to the conclusion that what people loved was the nails. They love that shape. It's considered to be a great mouse. It got some great reviews. Now we're bringing forward something that's a little bit like, it has that beautiful kind of palm things. Still, you can claw grip it. And we call it a caster. I'm super, I'm super happy to show it to you guys. The caster. First time shown here. TV for you guys. Um, and if you see, it's got these little, little ripples here on the side with the beautiful terrestrial fingers here. Small piece here. And this is the early prototype, so you have to really, really good finish here. But as you see, it's simple. We removed all unnecessary things. Inside, of course, we never compromised there. It's an ARM processor, 32 megahertz. And it's, it's just, it's a beautiful piece of a thing to hold in your hand. Uh, we're super proud about it. And it's a typical my own product. You know, four layers of coating on the top makes it feel and touch beautiful. Uh, thank you for this interview, thank you for the explanation. And uh, I'm really yeah, enthusiastic and I hope to see more from Myonix. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Wil je graag meer Game Gear reviews van mij zien? Ga naar www.gamegeeks.nl en hou natuurlijk vooral Myonix in de gaten. Yeah.